Let's do BYU and Baylor. BYU wins this one 26 to 20 in double overtime. Uh this one this one was strange, right? Uh, you look at the post-game win expectancy here, 62% for the Cougars. Uh, yards per play, BYU, over almost a yard and a half more. Uh, but five offensive yards per play, 366 total yards to only 289 for Baylor. Uh, third down tries, Baylor was 9 of 18, 50% on third down, and still only had 289 total yards. Uh, the fourth down tries, you know, 2-1 to one here. The scoring opportunities was the biggest thing to me. BYU got down there six times. Only scored 3.3 points per scoring opportunity, but, you know, Baylor got seven, uh, seven points per scoring opportunity on three scoring opportunities. I mean, just, just ridiculous. Um, Baylor won the field position battle. They started at their own 27, BYU their own 22. You look at the overall stats. Shapin, 18 out of 28 for 137 yards and one touchdown. I thought that they were going to try and get the ball down the field a little bit, and they couldn't get anything done against that BYU defense. I mean, props to BYU. Um, Baylor last year ran for like 300-something yards on them and just bludgeoned them at the line of scrimmage, and BYU didn't allow that to happen either, right? Only 152 yards rushing for Baylor in this spot. Uh, This was... I picked BYU to go 10-2 and two in the regular season. I thought they would beat Notre Dame. I thought they would beat uh, Baylor, et cetera. So this is not exactly uh, out of what I thought was going to happen. But it was still nice to see it done, especially without the two leading wide receivers for, uh, for BYU, right? Puka Nakua and Gunnar Romney both being out definitely hurt the thought process. But this BYU team, incredibly experienced, really, really good. Baylor you can tell, is just right there. Just right there. They are so close. But it's going to take a little bit of time, and, and expecting that on a, in a late-night road game in week two of the season, probably a little bit too far to ask. So, But cheers to BYU. I mean, my gosh, you look, at the, you look at the post-game win probability. I mean, it was right in between them the whole time. The whole time. Uh, and I did not update that. I see that now. Um, Yeah, game excitement, 9.03 here. Just back and forth, back and forth, back. That's game on paper, by the way. I'll put all that kind of stuff in the description. But, yeah, expected points, all this. Uh, Yeah, Uh, Baylor and BYU were both awesome, and it it was a fun, fun watch for sure. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.